Hello everybody, this is Deb. I'm back with a, a dual challenge. Um, this is earrings every day, days four, five, six, seven, and eight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late getting videos out. I'm going to try and do it every three days, roughly, videos, but um, we've just had some things I haven't been able to uh, I'm late doing some of the earrings and I didn't get day, the third day done. So now they're done and then I caught up with all the other days as well. Um, so I'm bringing you five days worth of earrings here. But I'm also going to consider this as um, hashtag, oh goodness, um, 100 things challenge. And um, let's see if I can find the little book. Sorry, should I have that out? Yeah, nope, that's the wrong book. Anyway, I think it's number 10, uh, whatever the number is, I'll put it in the description. So, okay, with that, let's begin. The first day, the day four, is these. I'm going to move these other ones out of the way so that the white background shows, hopefully. Um, there we go. Um, they're basically a wire-wrapped bead. And then the inspiration was to have hammered three pieces of hammered metal or wire at the bottom, but I don't like the way that hangs. I tried it. I also don't like hammering non-precious metals because if you have a plated metal, like a gold plated copper, silver plated copper, bronze plated copper, or whatever, or bronze color copper, the copper starts to show through. So I didn't like that look. So what I did is I had some gold chain in my personal uh, bargain bead box stash and these beads came out of the stash. The ear wires um, I had in my business stash. So I removed them from business stash and same with the wire that I used to wire wrap. That's gold plated copper. So anyway, I made two pair of those I thought those were pretty. The beads are beautiful. They're like a sparkly crystal. Um, see, see the sparkle? They're like a champagne peachy orangey color. And I did use also, and I flattened them with a hammer, um, some bead caps from the stash, which I don't think you can see. Maybe you can. I don't know. Anyway, I flattened them on the top and the bottom because I didn't like them domed. And I tried putting other beads on top as well and on the bottom and I didn't like that. So I just left them with that bead and the chain dangling down. I th think they came out pretty. Okay, so the next one is this pair here on, the la on my left. Um, and this took me a little bit to figure out how to do to interconnect these. But I used a mandrel plier that had a big um, circle and I used 26 gauge um, silver plated copper wire. And what I did is I made the first ring first and then I took the leftover piece, I wrapped it around about 10 times for each of these. And then I took a longer, I left a longer piece at the end and I wrapped it around to hold the wires in place. Okay, so then, well, how are you going to get it into this one? Oops, sorry. <laughs> so, um, so then what I did is I used the 26 gauge wire. I made a double loop at the top, wire wrapped it a few times, and then I started my loops on the mandrel. Um, and then at the end, I, I did the same thing. I wire wrapped around here, and then I brought it back and wrapped up around the top. And that's how I did it. And then the ear wires open. Those were from my business stash. The ear wires, I did not make them because they have the, they have the like spring thing and a ball on them, which I could, but I already had them in my stash. So that's how I did those. And then day six is these. And um, these are basically just a spiral with, um, some wire shaping and they're a little tricky to get them consistent um, so you basically I did the spirals first then I laid them out um, next to each other or on the pliers together and tried to do the spiral and then I had these funky modern looking um, ear 
wires in my stash since like 2012 and I thought well they'd be perfect because I was looking for something either a stud or I didn't like I didn't want much to hang down since these were already hanging down so oops, and they won't stay on here I don't, I don't have them hooked through I just have them laying over anyway I thought those were pretty cool and also the other thing is in her picture she has the circles going the same way and I have them facing each other if that makes sense the way the loops are like this one faces this way and that one faces this way so you could do it either way you want I just like the way it makes it look like you have each ear has a purpose if you know what I mean <laughs> I'm kind of picky that way and um, so I think they came out pretty cool the method you use for that is similar to if you make a wire Christmas tree, which I've done before. Um, so it's a little tricky, but it's doable. Okay, the next pair is these. This is day seven. And basically, it's a spiral dangle. Again, I have mine facing each other. I'm going to take one out. They look fun funky in there because they're leaning. But this is what they look like. It's a... Um, I guess that's magnesite, dyed magnesite, and unlike most of my earrings, I did not wire wrap these because, um, A, I used 18 gauge wire, which is a heavier wire. The loops are not going to pull open unless they're really tugged on, and I didn't like the look of the wire wrapping with the big bead, so, um, and the spiral. Um, so I just use 18 gauge for everything, including the ear wire I made myself. Um, and I like the look of that. Um, so, and these beads were from bead, bargain bead box. The wire was in my stash. It's a silver plated copper. Okay. And lastly, day eight, these black clear beads, which I think are an agate. I could be wrong. Uh, were from Bargain Bead Box months ago. Um, the ear wires and the paddle pin and wire I used for wrapping, which is a 26 gauge again, uh, were in my stash also, my business stash. So I know the black is kind of hard to see. Let me take them off. Maybe I can put them on here so that you can see them. And I don't like putting them on one on each side because these are uneven earring stands and everybody thinks they're uneven, but they're not. So anyway, um, this is a little bit of wire wrapping too. Uh, and I think they're a little different than what Kimberly did. She, it looks like she hammered a piece of wire uh, and maybe used the same wire up higher to, to wrap around. I'm not sure. I, the picture is not real clear on what I'm looking at um, but I thought these were classy and nice looking and um, and that's that's the last ones day eight so there you have it days four five six seven and eight I hope you enjoyed I hope you're able to see them um, please keep watching every couple days I will be posting the earrings this coming Sunday, I'll have another jewelry collab project up, as well as my plan with me. Um, and then probably on Monday, I'll have some project share stuff out there as well, other than jewelry. Okay, talk to you soon. Hugs and love. Bye.